Hello. Today, Road to GH will reveal how Ned found out about Willow's betrayal of Drew and how he provoked Michael to silently seize control of ELQ. Ned has always been at odds with Drew and Michael in the battle for power at ELQ, and this has become his greatest goal for many years. With his cunning nature, Ned never stopped seeking ways to fully control ELQ. Although he had failed many times in competing for power with Michael and Drew, he never gave up and always believed that ELQ should belong to him at any cost. Today, an opportunity came to Ned in a way he could never have imagined. In a moment of chance, Ned happened to overhear a conversation between Willow and Sasha. As he was walking past the kitchen, the words between the two unintentionally revealed a shocking secret. Willow, in a moment of weakness, confessed that she had feelings for Drew, and this relationship had been going on without Michael knowing anything. Ned quickly realized that this was the leverage he needed to break the alliance between Michael and Drew and simultaneously consolidate his power at ELQ. No longer relying on vague plans or business strategies, Ned now held a personal secret with destructive power, one that could shatter the strong bond between the two cousins who had always united against him. Ned had always been opposed to Drew and Michael in the battle for control of ELQ, and he had always nurtured the desire to bring the family company back into his hands. Although he had failed many times to defeat the two cousins, Ned never gave up, but today he held the perfect opportunity without needing to reveal any secrets. During an accidental passing by the kitchen of the Quartermain Mansion, Ned overheard a conversation between Willow and Sasha. Willow, in a moment of weakness, admitted to Sasha that she had feelings for Drew. This information was not only a threat to Michael's marriage marriage, but also a golden opportunity for Ned to execute his plan to divide the two men whom he had always viewed as obstacles in his pursuit of power. Instead of revealing this secret to Michael, Ned decided to use it as a card to execute a bigger scheme. He didn't need to directly accuse Willow or Drew, but instead began to silently sow discord and suspicion between the two. Ned cleverly hinted to Drew that Michael never truly trusted him, and their relationship had long been one of convenience. At the same time, Ned made made Michael doubt that Drew was a loyal brother, implying that Drew was plotting to take everything from him, including ELQ, and now, possibly even Willow. Ned's scheme began to take effect. The tension between Michael and Drew increased, not only in their business dealings, but also in their personal lives. Ned's insinuations slowly crept into the minds of both men, causing them to grow increasingly suspicious of one another. The cooperation and unity between them began to unravel, and Ned was gradually achieving his goal without needing to publicly reveal any secrets. With the clear division between Drew and Michael, Ned prepared to deliver the final blow to take control of ELQ. While the two cousins were facing betrayal and insecurity, Ned, with his perfect plan, was inching closer to his ultimate victory, taking ELQ into his hands without needing any overt tricks. He had turned the secret information into a silent weapon, destroying the close relationship between Michael and Drew without having to expose himself. After silently carrying out his plan to divide Michael and Drew, Ned realized that the time was ripe to strike the decisive blow. Ned didn't stop at sowing suspicion, but decided to take a bolder step. Revealing the whole truth to Michael about how Drew had betrayed him, with a face full of sympathy and concern, Ned approached Michael, pretending as though he only wanted to protect his nephew. He whispered to Michael that Drew was not just a rival in business, but a traitor in love as well. Did you know Drew and Willow have been sneaking around behind your back? Ned said quietly, his eyes filled with feigned sorrow as he looked at Michael. Ned's words were like a sharp dagger stabbing into Michael's trust. He couldn't believe what he was hearing, but deep down, the doubts that Ned had planted earlier began to resurface. Images of Drew and Willow's suspicious behavior, their cryptic conversations, all seemed to point to a truth Michael had never dared to face. Anger welled up inside Michael, and he could no longer control his emotions. In a storm of emotions, Michael turned to alcohol to escape the pain. He drank until he was completely drunk, and as the alcohol coursed through his body, Michael's anger exploded. The image of Drew, a man Michael had once seen as an ally, even a brother, now turned into a treacherous enemy in his eyes.
Unable to keep calm, Michael sought out Drew. In his drunken stupor, he didn't hesitate to confront Drew and loudly accused him of cheating with Willow. Drew, caught off guard and confused, tried to explain, but Michael was no longer listening. Bitter and angry words flowed relentlessly from Michael's mouth, and in a moment of lost control, Michael lunged at Drew and assaulted him. The confrontation between the two men turned violent. Michael, drunk and furious, landed a powerful punch on Drew, knocking him to the ground. Drew was severely injured, both physically and emotionally. He wasn't just hurt by Michael's punch, but also by the complete collapse of the close relationship they once shared. Ned, watching from a distance, silently observed the entire scene. His plan had succeeded beyond his expectations. Michael and Drew were no longer allies, and ELQ, now fractured by the family's internal rift, would soon fall into Ned's hands more easily than ever. But Ned's victory came at a steep price. The Quartermain family had been irreparably broken. 